hello everyone <clears throat> so what we are going to do in this video is i will show you how to connect to a file system what do i mean by file system so suppose a file is kept on your local computer right like this testing doc, docs file testing dot pdf like all this is kept within this testing files folder so if we want to fetch this files the name of this files the metadata of this file or the content within this files we would have to connect to this local drive through our power automate flow previously we have seen in this uh, flow that i have created right in this one i have connected to a sharepoint file that is being kept uh, here within different folders right master file uh, user file master file comparison of that matching file is being created right so if the file is not present say this master file is not present here instead this master file is present in our file system file explorer okay then how can we get it is not on anywhere on the cloud it's somewhere on the, some file sharing network drives for example right so how we are going to get that file in the power automate flow so what i'll do here is so this flow that i've created if you want to see this flow i will give a link at the top where you can click and go to this video but in i'll explain what is happening in this so if a file gets uploaded into the this user's file folder then the flow gets triggered we create our master matching file template in here compose and create file and then we list the rows present in the user file and then we list the rows present in the master file this is the user file folder and this is the master file folder matching of this two file with respect to the serial number a matching file is created with the content right so a select filter array and power json after that we are just putting all the data within the matching data within the matching file that we have created okay now what i'll do here is instead of this matching file right being on the cloud we will fetch it from the local system and the rest of the flow remains the same the comparison of the user's file which is on the cloud will happen with respect to the master file which is present on the local file system okay and then we will get the result so how i'm going to do is this is a windows server it was on 12 right and then i have a domain join machine windows 10 domain join machine so in here let's get the master file from the same one i'll use the same master file everything same so let's download okay Control. download Control x and let's put it in so in c drive we have this folder network drive i'll put it here okay master file along with the rest of the file so now we will create the connector so first of all we would have to install the gateway on the domain join machine so i will show you the article okay so here it is on premise <clears throat> on premise data gateway so we are in cloud we can use that on premise data uh, data gateway 
to get the content from on-premise uh, data sources right so this is on-premise so there are two on-premise data gateway and on-premise data gateway personal mode allows one user to connect to the source and that can be shared with others on the on-premise data gateway personal mode can be used only with power bi okay we are going to use on-premise data gateway not the personal mode one right here is the link to download it So I already have it. This one. So it's getting downloaded. Once it's getting downloaded, this will be the steps to perform. So gateway install.exe is the file, right? Which we get from this one. As you can see, download the standard gateway. The first step, right? And that is where we are. So I accept install yes yes okay so this we have installed on our domain join machine the on-premise gateway so now we have the connector ready for the name of network right so in the gateway under the gateway we have the network this is another one that previously is connected so network is the one and under connections so there is no connector connection yet the gateway is there so let's go to our flow So remember the flow remains the same all we have to do is this list rows present in the table we have to get this through the local file system so file system so we have the option of create file list files in the folder append copy delete extract archive to the folder get file content so this is our the one that we are using we need to get the file content okay so if you see the gateway we if we click the one that we are going to use which is installed on that domain join machine is the network one so we get that 
uh, let's name this network connection to network network to file system okay the root folder if you see the root folder is c network drives so let's put that in c network drive okay windows so the domain the domain of my domain join machine is valid and the user it is administrator through which we have logged in into that system okay let's click on create all right so you click on that folder icon now you should pick up all the files that is list present in that particular folder and there you go right the one that we want is master file see if you want to have a network drive shown here right if there is a network drive that i create then wherever that network drive is created you would have to uh, put that gateway on that system okay you can log into the network drive through any uh, system right if you have the path and you if you have the correct permission but if you want to use that into the power automate file system you need to install the gateway on the very system where the network drive has been originated okay all right so now we have the file in our file system this list row present in a table won't pick a file which is present on 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 the local system so we would have to add another step here which is create file okay and let's create a file let's create on the same site test site 3 folder path okay under shared so I'm going to put this uh, one as well under the master file and the name of this file will be on premise dash local master file okay dot xlss And the file content will use a uh, from the previous step that we created get the file content so it will create a file which will have the content from our on premise or the local computer the file explorer file okay in here the existing one let's change this to this file that we have just created there we go 
okay so this is the only modification that is needed in our existing flow okay so let me just delete this one to remove confusion okay so we have the master file and folder we have the user file folder and we have the matching where the result or our file gets generated in the master file folder right this is the master file which is previously kept but we are not using that one more file will get generated here using the content of the local file system and in here we will have our file new file that gets generated so let's delete all the rest so that we have only the latest file coming in here all right let's run the flow so i'm using an old instance to run the flow it has created the file got the content from the local file explorer and created the file on sharepoint so if i go in here now and go to the master file refresh see on premise local master file dot xls so we have the file now and the content of it it has been generated locally and now our flow is completed so let's go to our file the resultant or the output file this is the one we just got created few seconds ago let's see the output so we should have three matching results it should pop up anytime now and there you go right uh, ignore this pin column so we have uh, three serial numbers with respect to their state and the city reflected in here if i take you to the user file you will be able to see so this is the user file and let's check the master file as well just so that if no one has watched the previous video they'll get the context so see three serial numbers are there some random names are there so you should have with respect to this three serial number that file got matched with this one the top three serial numbers i have the state and the city with respect to that not the bottom two so we got this three information in our resultant file only the three matching results came out from the master file and this was the objective of this flow which is done right we have just completed the that flow but now instead of the master file also present on the cloud we have used the content which was present in the master file on the local file system and that is what we i wanted to show you the file system connector right uh, locally present in in the next video i'll show you using this file system connector how we can list the different files which is present in the folder i mean be uh, play around with the file name of those files okay uh, that is it for this video thank you have a good day bye